that right away. Um, we didn't get an opportunity to do our recap, uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. The Obi Wan uh, Kenobi season one recap. Um, so right off the bat, fellas, um, I'm going to say this: um, I thought it was a fine show. It's a fine show, um, but I do feel like kind of felt unnecessary in a lot of spots. Like, man, eh, I don't know if I learned anything about Obi-Wan Kenobi or got anything more out of this series um, that I could have. You know, it's a, it was shakily written, like, you know, a, from the beginning, it was kind of like some shaky writing um, and it kind of built up and got a little bit better as the season went on. Um, I thought the uh, characters kind of improved a little bit. Um, didn't really still see a reason for like, okay, you know, you got Obi-Wan Kenobi doing his thing, right. uh, him leaving uh, Tatooine, leaving Luke all by himself. I, I have an issue with that uh, as, a, <laughs> as, a, as a story point uh, for the larger Star Wars um, uh, saga. But, I mean, just as a series, I, it's, it's fine. You know, it wasn't the worst thing they've done. That was Book of Boba Fett, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> and um, it's it's not as good as The Mandalorian. Clearly, Mandalorian's is heads and shoulders above it. But like, you know, just for something like six episodes just to pass the time, you know, I could probably have found worse things to do. I thought episode six kind of, you know, did a really good job. I don't necessarily think it's stuck the landing per se, but I thought it was OK. Um, and I didn't really I wasn't I didn't leave feeling like hurt and offended or anything like that. Like, oh, man, this thing just really, you know pissed me off i didn't have that feeling you know i was like all right it was it was all right whatever like the last you know, jedi did joke. to me like how the last jedi did to me and Taylor. right right exactly <laughs> exactly so what do you guys what was your opinion of the series before we just like kind of like your high level opinion before we dig deep uh, well for me like if i was to give it a, a letter grade you know a b c d f mm -hmm. i would say to me it was a b plus i was okay. actually entertained by the show in yeah. the sense of, because like I've said before, I'm a history guy. Yeah. This is all about history. What was mm -hmm. Obi-Wan doing this whole time? So it's like I'm reading a history book on what he was doing. Mm -hmm. Some of the stuff seemed to be kind of, eh, you know, I mean, the whole Reba character was kind of like, I mean, if, if she wasn't there, you still have a show. And yeah. so that, I think, it was like there wasn't enough. And it was just the way it ended with her. It was kind of just all that and that's it huh okay <laughs> i did like i did like the leia part for the most part yeah sometimes she got it after a while you're like okay bratty 10 year old let's just move this on let's keep it going but i think it was good just to see her because she, in this whole skywalker era she's largely been ignored like eh, we know princess Leia, you know hanging out with han doing all this other stuff but it's always been luke luke chosen one luke he's the one who brought it back luke training and bad you know kylo ran go bad it was always luke 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 mm -hmm. just to see her as a little kid you finally got to see her history we okay. know luke's history we got that but her history was actually kind of interesting again they went a little too long with it i'm okay. like yeah she would she should have been cool for like an episode or two yeah. but you know not the main crux of the whole thing because they talked about, well, this is how it made A New Hope when she reached out to Obi-Wan, you know, your only hope. But if you listen to the words in A New Hope, it sounds like, hey, my dad knows you. Right, right, right. I'm asking you for help because my father, because even in World One, mm -hmm. they said, hey, Bail, you still got that friend? Yeah, I still <laughs> got that friend. So it was never that relationship. We never knew there was a relationship between obi-wan and leia so that was a different twist that's why i was kind of like that's why it's not an a for me i'm like ah well you know okay but, oh, but overall just watch it to me my feeling is this it's this is the story it was written as though there's going to be a season two which i know we're going to talk about a little bit later mm -hmm. but it was kind of like obi-wan wasn't doing a damn thing for 10 years now he's back in the game he had to get out of his funk Mm -hmm. And now he's back to himself again. Now okay. it can all lead up to a new hope. So overall, okay. I thought it was a B plus. Could have been better. It wasn't horrible. I wasn't regretting that I ever saw it. So yeah, B plus. Okay. All right, yeah. Taylor. In your opinion, what do you got? I'd probably give it a C plus in my opinion. Um, okay. I thought there's just 
for the show, the title being Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah. I thought there was just too much fluff added in yeah. around the periphery yeah. for six episodes. It. And I was talking to Trill about this earlier. Like originally, Obi Wan was supposed to be a trilogy movie series. Then Last Jedi came out. Everyone got a hangover from that, causing Solo to do horrible in the box office. And they canceled that pre uh, trilogy series of Obi Wan being, you know, roughly two hour movies. So they were split this series that dragged out for over or almost six hours was originally supposed to be a two hour movie. And I, I just felt like you can tell they added so much fluff in there to make that six episodes of almost an hour each instead hmm. of just having an hour or two hour movie where who knows, we probably wouldn't even have had some of this stuff in here to begin with. So I thought it was good. Um, there's some high highs, you know, definitely some good fan service with the final Vader yeah, versus yeah. Kenobi scene in episode oh, yeah. six. But yeah, yeah that saved it for me. Uh, I, I'm going to tell you, yeah, that saved it for me, man. Just a lot of <laughs> kind of run in the mill filler stuff at the same time. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, I'm right there with both of you guys in terms of, um, you know, just like overall, it's okay series. Like I said, I, I didn't yeah. give it a letter gate. I probably would have gave it maybe a C or a C plus as well. It's just like, mm, okay. And um, I, I think the biggest thing is, you know, like you said, it's like the series is called Obi-Wan and I wanted to see the story of Obi-Wan. Um, but what we got instead was like a lot of Reva and a lot of Leia, um, yeah. you know, in yeah. their stories. And, we, you know, again, I feel like if, if the story was more centered around Obi-Wan, yeah, you would have had to streamline it a lot, lot more. You know, it's like, okay, we got to get rid of some of this Reva stuff. It's really going to just be Obi-Wan and him dealing with maybe trying to find, um, trying to find Leia. You know, if you just said, hey, we're just going to make it about Obi-Wan trying to find Leia and then getting her, her back to, um, you know, her father safely um, and then Vader's in pursuit. And that's it. You know, you get Reva out of the way and then you just really focus on Obi-Wan, um, you know, and, and and some of the I don't know if you wouldn't necessarily call it like some of the more nitpicky things. But like the biggest problem I had, I think, with this series is just the characterizations that they did uh, with Obi-Wan and then some of the situations that they put him in. And I think I was telling you, Travel, it's like, OK, Obi-Wan's whole purpose on being on Tatooine is to be ready to defend Luke in the event that something bad happens, or at least keep an eye on him and give him some training or something. Like, that's his job. And then he just, like, walks, just, I'm off the planet because Leia needs help, <laughs> which I'm like, okay, I get that. But, you know, at yeah. the same time, like, I was thinking, like, okay, if he's leaving the planet, you know, hey, why don't we bring somebody in here? Hey, I need you to keep an eye on this camp, you know, Owen and, you know, Baru. Yeah, at the, at the end, they, you know, suddenly became badasses or whatever but like overall we don't really see them as that it's like okay i need you to keep an eye on them just in case something happens because you never know what might happen when i leave the planet you know and then that was the other thing like this guy needed to be sharp he needed to have his skills sharp why are you letting your skills diminish to the point where you know you can't do anything like if for instance an inquisitor just depressed. so happened to show up to tatooine which is what happened like, what is Obi-Wan going to do? He's going to get his tail kicked. You got three Inquisitors showing up. What if they just, what if they had information that he just hap just didn't know about? You know, what if he had, inf they had information like, you know what? We think there's like a, a force sensitive kid somewhere hiding out <laughs> in this little area. Hey, let's just go in there and check it out. We don't know. It might be nothing, but, and then all of a sudden they discover Luke, you know, it's like, oh shoot, Obi-Wan, you got to leap into action and be prepared to defend the galaxy's, you know, last hope. Oh, I buried my lightsabers in the dirt like 10 years ago. I, and I haven't been practicing. I've like, <laughs> myself off been like, I'm like, been wiped clean. I'm like, you go, like, what are you doing? Your whole <laughs> purpose of being in this situation to be on Tatooine. You wasn't, you didn't, you weren't born on Tatooine. You didn't have any business being on. Your whole reason for being there is to keep that kid safe. And you just completely, right. like, I just, that part just, I, it bothered me the entire series. It was just like, huh? Like, is this really like a general, like a guy that was leading clone troops and he has to make a strat? All right, how are we going to figure this out? What are we going to do? It's like this guy should have them that little orb just kind of practicing in this little cave every night, you know, saying, all right, I got to keep my skills sharp. You know, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. But I'm also got, yeah, I got to keep my skills like kind of, you know, you know, like so if, if something happens, I can leap into it. 
I mean, it's not just, you know, an inquisitor. It could have been sand people. It could have been Jabba's. It could have been anything. You know, it's like this guy is like, come on. But so that. T- oh, yeah, go ahead. I saw it, though. Like how me and you me and you had this conversation, which is always hilarious. <laughs> yeah. But what, when you were saying it, but to me, it was more like when he left, he says, I'll keep an eye on him. Okay. You know, we'll go ahead and train him. And I got some issues with that because Yoda was like, he's too old, which is besides the point. But to me, I think it was more like he's still in a culture shock. He's still like, you know what? Damn, Anakin, my my brother. This Mm -hmm. I literally cut his arms off and I left them laying on Mustafar. That's a traumatic, and all the Jedi got killed. That's some serious trauma. That's like, how the hell did we go from we're like the peacekeepers of the galaxy to we're getting wiped out by one Sith Lord who fooled us all. That's a depressing state. And so... Now, even with the Inquisitor, he probably didn't even know Inquisitors were even existing because I'm chilling on Tatooine, which is in the middle of completely nowhere. So he's thinking, you know what? He's just a little farm boy. If they, He doesn't know. And then how would the Inquisitors know if that's Anakin's son? They may be a Force-sensitive kid, but they wouldn't know that that's Anakin's child. Well, because no, but I'm saying like they're, they're just it. coming around to wipe out Jedi. Period. So right. any any force sensitive anything, you know, if they get a, a a hint, that's like you know, there's like that's why they were there. They were there because they heard there was a Jedi floating around and trying to hide out. That's why they came to that planet. So that's what I'm saying. Like if they found they out, no, but any- how would but how would they know? But how would they know Luke is force sensitive? Because remember when that Jedi was hanging out in that little cantina or whatever? They yeah. were they didn't know who he was. They had to use trickery to figure it out. So true, true. Yeah. I mean, but there's a possibility. Like they could have, you know. I, I mean, some. It, it, that's the one of the things about the rules of Star Wars. It's just kind of like it's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> it's <a> story. <laughs> so that, they could have easily said, "Hey, man, they yeah. can kind of figure out." But like, how did they find any Jedi? Like, you know, all Jedi's had to be discovered somehow. So they see Luke doing something tricky or something quirky or something like that, and they're like, "You know what? That True. kid might be a, you know, he might be a Jedi." You know, they <laughs> just because he's like Anakin, the original Anakin. He was yeah. just he was just smart. He was adapted yeah. as a kid. He could fix anything. He had reflexes that no other human had. That's why he was able to pod race. Like all of that kind of stuff was like traits yeah. of a Jedi. Yeah. And yeah, when Qui-Gon, he didn't even need to test the blood. He was like, yeah, that kid's a Jedi. You know, he had that <laughs> in his head. Right. Like, that kid's a Jedi. So it's a possibility that Inquisitors could also be doing that exact same thing. We don't know enough about like all of their different little uh, things that True. they could have been True. trying to do. I, we don't I, know. I, so I, that's I, how I, yeah. again, that's just for me, like, uh, that yeah. was one of my pet peeves for the series. I'm like, dude, you're supposed to be ready, man. Yeah. Like, this is your job. And I get it. You know, right. you got, you're going through a little bit of survivor's guilt because of what happened. You're dealing with a lot in your own mind and, and, and emotions. Are, all right, but, all right, look, it's uh, it's been 10 years. Um, I need you to get your <laughs> act together, Obi-Wan, yeah. because that's the last hope of the galaxy and you need to be ready. Yeah, like ready, ready, because anything can jump off at any moment. And, you know, I mean, I, I could talk about the incompetence of the yeah. Empire all day long. Trust me, these guys <laughs> are the worst <laughs> because the they worst. are. It's like, just just kill them. Just kill them. You're done. Yeah. It, 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 problem solved. But they never kill people when they have the opportunity, Vader no. included, like you let Reva go. Like I would have, like you said, we thought, shoot. That head well, is off, and that's it. <laughs> let her go is subjective yeah. there. Usually, <laughs> lights and everything out of him means death, but I guess yeah, we're really not. Rules now, but one that, day later, she's fine walking around, you know? All good. Quiet guys, like, hold up. I get yeah. stabbed in the, in the gut, and I right, die, man. but Reva gets, yeah. she's human just like I am. That's messed up. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you you know, like I saw that meme where they had like uh, Reva getting stabbed in the gut, the Grand Inquisitor getting stabbed in the gut, and then you get like Darth Maul getting cut in a complete half and tumbling right. back down the shaft. All of them still alive, and you see Obi Wan, <laughs> or you see a Qui Gon Force Ghost like. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? I know. You're like, I got stabbed in the gut. How come I can't be alive? It's yeah, so nah, weak, obviously, you know. Nah, obviously. Yeah, too old, man. You're too old. You too old. It's your time. <laughs> yeah, but, but I, um, see what you, I see what you said about the whole, you know, Obi-Wan probably should have kept his skills, you know, sharp. Because remember, Yoda said later on, he's too old to begin the training. Well, damn, if you did your job, maybe Luke yeah. would have been ready at age 10. Right. 
a he should have been longer. trading them like this entire time. Like, and that's the other thing. Like, nah, but Owen, was, Owen, Uncle Owen was sitting there fighting that though. I, and that's where you gotta say, you know what, Owen? I understand where you're coming from, bro. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is the last hope for the galaxy. You see this guy over my shoulder right here. This dude right here. He's coming for all of us. We gotta just, yeah. Unfortunately, we just gotta make some moves, and you just gonna have to understand that, okay? And then if right. he starts saying something, you know, you pull out the lightsaber. What? What was that? What? Because oh, he, okay. he's got your okay, yeah. So I might. So every Tuesday and Thursday at the cave, just have him come up, you know, bring, <laughs> bring his little, <laughs> bring his little jug of blue milk, and you know, we'll we'll do some training, and and there it is. That's how it's and going down it because we're not about to just lose the galaxy because of your issues. No, I'm sorry. That's not, right. that's and it's not, not even, how it's going. It's down. not even his blood nephew. It's really it's not. Like, like, dude, you own through marriage. <laughs> right. Right. So like, and I you appreciate that anyways, you're taking care really. of him and right. everything. That's dope. You know, but. Yeah, I'm. I'm an, I, we we need to train the kid. What are you doing? You know. So yeah, I mean, but you know, besides all of that stuff, um, <laughs> I just thought that you know, like I, I think the last episode just really saved it for me because oh, yeah. at, coming into episode yeah. five, I was just like, oh my god, I, I I just you know, you saw the last episode of Sit of the Way, folks. If you watched it, you saw how I felt about it. Like I was just kind of <laughs> like, I don't understand this show. I don't understand where they're going. Right. They're doing things that don't make sense. And then kind of at the last episode, like if they could have cut away. And just trimmed up like probably episodes two through five, because that's to me where the biggest issues just kind of trim those down, just make it about Obi-Wan and Vader. And that's the other thing, like Vader to me, like I, I know what they were trying to do, man. They were trying to <laughs> fix depressed. well, because they were trying to like clean that up so much. Where okay, we all know that Obi-Wan was supposed to face Vader mm -hmm. in this series. But we also know what we heard in episode four, right? right. Like, um, yeah, the last time we met, you know, and it's like, okay, so how did they, how were they going to fix that, you know? And then they and then they end up fighting twice. So there's just a lot going on um, with this season one that to me was just kind of like bizarre. Like, okay, let's just like, it, that's why I said it felt unnecessary because it didn't really, to me, it didn't really do anything for the Obi-Wan character. It didn't make him more mysterious. Like, you know, it didn't really do anything for the character, in my opinion. It just kind of, he's yeah. just there, you know, he's just another character. Here, here's, a, here's a question I actually pondered just after thinking about how Vader and how he was going after his old master and stuff like right. that. What is it about Obi-Wan that pisses Sith people off to such a high degree that they become obsessed? Darth Maul, <laughs> if you remember in the Clone yeah. Wars, all he thought about was like, I got to find Obi-Wan. I got to get him. My well, revenge. Well, Obi-Wan cut him in half. Like, I would, I, I can understand that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I cut you in half. And All right, man, I got to get this guy. <laughs> and, and Vader. Vader's like, I'm a new Sith Lord. I'm the most powerful thing ever. And all I cared about was oh, getting Obi-Wan. Was it because he cut off his limbs? I mean, it's just yeah, like, I mean, that could be it, too. It's like his dad, I mean, basically. His best friend slash dad. Well, it's almost. like his brother. His, yeah. It, it, yeah, like Obi-Wan is like his brother, his father, his best yeah. friend. Like, that's like yeah. all three rolled into one. You like know, he, so. He I tried to that. kill him. He had to defend himself. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I mean, mean, but it makes Vader not even focus on, because remember the other guys were getting away? And they were like, hey, uh, your, your, your Lord, uh, <laughs> he's like, I don't care, over there. Yeah. You know, that's just one dude. Well, he, it, 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 it's clear, like, he, he, he laid this trap to try to fle flesh out Obi-Wan. You know, Obi-Wan's alive out there in the galaxy. So, like, Vader didn't necessarily lay the trap, but he let Reva run off and do her thing because he knew that by he, he could use Reva to now, you know, flesh out or ferret out Obi-Wan, put him out in the open somehow so that he can go and get him. Like, that was the whole concept of what Vader was trying to do, okay? And True. from that standpoint, I guess, you know, he's obsessed with Obi-Wan because of their history and their past, and maybe that's it's the one thing. Like, still, I got though. What's that? He's still that obsessed after 10 years and not seeing him? That's, I mean, yeah, obsessed. because you never, that's like the one that got away. You're like, you got all these other Jedi getting killed <laughs> off. Where the hell is Obi-Wan? Ain't nobody brought me this dude's head yet? All right, man, this guy's hiding pretty good, you know? So I got to go out and find him, you know? And and I get that. I get that. I, I understand that obsession, you know, at least from Vader's standpoint, because they had a relationship, um, you know, and... I get it. You know, I just don't understand why. Because even even Palpatine called him out. Palpatine was like, hey, yo, uh, you seem mm -hmm. to be a little bit worried about that. What's, what's You cool? Mm -hmm. I'm cool. I mean, he had to, like, reaffirm that. So it's well, because like he's not doing what a Sith normally does. You know, he's, you know, obsessed with revenge against his right. old master and everything. So he's kind of like, 
you know, hey, emotion. Ain't you supposed to be trying to like take? <laughs> he probably like, ain't you supposed to be trying to take me out and looking for you? <laughs> like that's what the Sith do, right? Like you're supposed <laughs> to be trying to take out your master and find you a little pupil or something like that. What are you doing? You know, he probably li- <laughs> trying to figure. Hey, is he is he down for the cause? Is he a Sith really? <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was that was it for Obi Wan. Let's move on. Let's talk about what they could do. Hey, real, real quick. Oh real yeah, go quick ahead. Though, just going back, just thinking about Reva. Mm-hmm. Here's a question though. You've been hanging around Vader and the Inquisitors this whole time. Did you really think you was gonna sneak up on Vader? Like that was your plan. Like this dude is like the baddest dude around, yeah. and your yeah, plan was, was okay. I'm gonna sneak up behind him. Like, yeah. He, he like the whole tell. time, I was like, you remember that? Remember Ghostbusters? When um you know Ray is um sneaking up on the ghost in the library at the very beginning, and they yeah. said, "Okay, I got a plan. <laughs> One, two, three, get her!" And I'm like, "That was your whole plan, get her!" Like that was Reva's whole plan, get him! Like you know, <laughs> they didn't have no plan whatsoever, man. She just yeah. I mean, that's again, that's part of the yeah. sloppy writing that I just didn't understand in this series. That's the only plan she could think of after. Coming from a young Wayne for however old she's supposed to be, maybe 15 years since she first encountered Anakin during Order right. 66. That's the best plan she thought of in 15 years is just to sneak up behind them. <laughs> yep. Sneak up behind them. Like, yep. Sneak up behind them and try to stab them. The, the, the Dark Lord, like the one of the baddest Jedi. They wiped out all of you. Okay, he wiped out all the people at the temple. He took, I mean, come on. Yeah, it, it's crazy. And, and that was your plan. Like, that was your plan. You that was her plan. That, and that's, again, just going back to the shakiness of this writing. So now that's why I want to talk about season two, because they got to clean that up. 